Lipkin said. I expect great things from you. Desdemona. We have a backlog of synths in the pipe. Let's get them out of the common. Stay safe. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Hey. The census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. You scanned me without my consent? It doesn't matter. Those conventional tests are garbage. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. No, I never eat anything. You see, that's smart. That's smart, man. S-M-A-R-T. But you gotta be careful. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. They're in my blood? Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect, too expected, and that's how they fooled you. I try and keep an open mind. All right, there we go. Thank you. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Dennis, De there's the one says no one has to. But it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? There's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Fine. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded to the Institute's mainframe. Actually, I dose myself with radiation to kill the blood. Robots. I read you, man. Smart. I'd rather have some hair loss than let the Institute win. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. What do you make? All the custom toys you field agent shoes, my boys and I make. We're thinking outside the box, man. Gotta get real creative, real wacky to stay ahead of those Institute eggheads. Don't even get me started on all their secret projects. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. What's new, Doc? Got nothing, sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Any news out there, Doctor? Got nothing, sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Hear anything, Doctor? Got nothing, sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Hear anything, doctor? Nothing that would interest you. No. Really? What's new, doc? Got nothing, sorry. Hear anything, doctor? Got nothing, sorry. Asshole. Gonna pass. Fine. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. <clears throat> You need anything? What do you have in stock? It changes, depending on what's on hand. Uh, we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully our agents score more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. Wanna see what we got? I'll take a look. I will set you up, my friend. counter honey mine's in the shop my name's peter beacon son i've heard a lot about you do you have a minute 
Sounds like I have a stalker. Yeah, well, we're the railroad. Spying is what we do. Anyway, I have a project I need help with. I think it'll be fun, but it's too dangerous for me to do alone. I asked my dad for help, but he's usually out doing spy stuff. Maybe you can help me. Depends. I need more details. There's a group of children of Adam that moved into the Commonwealth recently. The railroad got some intel on this group, and they sound scary. It seems like these Adam crazies got frustrated because folks in the Commonwealth weren't adopting their religion. They started killing people who refused to worship Adam. The rumor says they call themselves the Sword of Adam. Intel tells us they moved into an unfinished vault near the crater of Adam and they've been trying to get their hands on a nuclear stockpile. Apparently, they think that they can achieve salvation by blowing up the Commonwealth. Dealing with these wackos should be top priority, but everyone in the railroad is so focused on synths. No one's done anything about it. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for helping synths. But more importantly, I don't want to get blown up by religious fanatics. So what do you think? Will you check out the secret vault? and see if there's a way to stop these nut jobs. And why should I help you? Well, I assume that you don't want to get blown up by another nuclear explosion, right? Sounds like they need to be dealt with. Cool, here's the location. Can I come with you? Are you kidding me? I'm eight, but don't let that fool you. My mom died when I was little, and as far back as I can remember, I'm grown up in this war zone. My dad isn't around much lately, so I spend most of my time reading about spycraft and training with weapons. Lori says I'm getting pretty good with a pistol. I know it's hard to believe that I can protect myself. Even killed my first death claw a few months back. I promise I'll stay behind you. And besides, you might need my help navigating. So can I come with you? I have some things to do first. Oh man, all right. Well, I'll be here waiting for you. Good luck out there.